Hello, this is a bite-sized presentation on rules file debugging. The probe's rules files can be syntax checks using the syntax probe, which is provided with Netcall Omnibus. In order to run rules files, the target object server must be available. You can use the syntax probe from the command line using $omnihome slash probes slash nco underscore p underscore syntax minus rules file my dot rules. If there are any issues, the probe will log out the first error it encounters and its line number. All probes allow events to be logged in the raw capture format. These raw capture files can be replayed using the standard input probe. Raw capture files are ASCII text files and can be edited to create specific events if required. This allows rules files developers to exercise the object server and GUIs without the need to wait for real events to occur. Problems with rules files are always logged sequentially, with the first error being logged with its line number. When there are include files, the include file name is logged alongside the line number of the error. Rules files logic can only be resolved through testing the rules files in a controlled environment, as it is usually necessary to remove events from the object server when testing rules files logic. As well as using raw capture data, it is possible to replicate events using specific probe. For example, the net snmp snmp trap command and mib manager can be used to send traps to the mtrapd probe whilst developing rules files. The benefit is that events can be sent dynamically and the point to point data flow can be observed. The simnet probe is available from Passport Advantage. This probe can be used to create synthetic events or used for testing rules file logic by setting specific tokens in a test harness rules file. Please refer to the supports guide to event replication for further details on the available methods.